Hey friends, welcome back. Well, this is me, Robert, aka is 6 Romax, and um, today's tutorial I'll be showing you how you can make your own professional working YouTube background using Corel X6. Yeah, so guys, first of all, what you have to do is visit your YouTube channel. You say your channel, so visit my channel. Yeah, I know that you have seen most of the steps on how like to capture your YouTube channel's size and to just get the real size of your channel. So the reason for visiting the channel obviously you know just capture right, to capture the screen of your YouTube channel so that you can get to you know the size of the the width and the height of like yeah the YouTube background so after capturing your YouTube channel then you save the image and it looks like this something like this so what you have to do let me just resize it a little bit the reason for capturing now after capturing you go on the crop tool so you click on the crop tool just trying to crop this part in the Apart from the topmost part, yes, bring it here. After cropping like this, you just press enter to like just remain with the background. And what you have to do, well, again, you object pick to then you come to the background, just light click, then just click duplicate. After duplicating, well, just get download one of the templates here. You can just Google, just click and drop it just here. Wow, it's big, huh? Alright. So, as you can see, it looks that big. Let me just reduce the, the zooming and try to like resize it. Alright guys, now as you can see now, I've resized, resized my image. So the next thing you gotta do is you just have like to duplicate the same image. You can duplicate it. Yeah, you like click and just click on duplicate. Yes, so after duplicating, let me just switch this one off. The other one just trying to shrink it so that it fits oh sorry guys yeah okay. let me just do this make want to try to shrink it so that it can fit wow you see then you you bring the duplicate the other duplicated copy of the YouTube screen capture on top Yes, so after bringing it on top, you come here on the tools and the masking tools. So you take the magic wand mask, then you just click on the yeah, the dark part and the black part. Since then it will like highlight everything, then just press delete. As you can see, it has moved. Then after deleting, you come on the like object pick tool then on the mask you click again the mask then press delete to remove the mask then object pick tool now after you've done this well you can now resize your image so it's trying to resize like maybe you can bring it to the this other end push it this way this far end oh, let me just resize a little bit yeah, like this then after you have resized it you can also now bring the other image on turn it on yes then want to resize it to the as far end again so I'll just like resize it again I'll bring it this other end as you can see here wow so as you can see when I press it, it's, it's still this part. 
then the other thing you have to do is click on the background then click on the bucket fill tool like this tool then you make sure you select the dark black part yes so you just have to paint yeah like this then after painting I will like switch off this image so you have like something like this as you can see now wow so after making this like yes like this now you can bring in like the name you want to like maybe you want to create a name of your channel so you just use the right so here just right your name your name here in the like impact doesn't matter you can choose any of the like yeah any of the font you want to use so I'll just use impact because I like impact then after doing this you can use them you can use like the pick to, to resize the, your your like name then after you've done this you come on this drop shadow tool make sure you click on this drop shadow tool then on the here upper like left you click drop down then use the small glow as you can see to make it glow like this then again now you can like if you want twist it like to be upright so I'll just double click I will click on the same image to bring the twisting arrows then I'll just twist it up like this wow so now that's the use of the captured image to like position your image here yeah so I'm trying to make it look nice like this okay wow as you can see now so this is my image you can put it maybe down below here so it will be like something like this now your channels that's maybe your channel name then this is the other like part that I like from one of the videos I watched he like said you can like maybe to make it look that fancy nice and professional you don't like if images of the Facebook and Twitter YouTube so take my YouTube image here or bring it on again try to resize it a bit oh, sorry yeah try to resize it so that it can fit yeah just like he said then after resizing again you can use the magic wand mask to like remove the white part just single click then you press delete as you can see then again you come here the mask transform press delete object pick tool and if you want again you can add the drop shadow you click on the drop shadow then here you put small glow like this wow then you can drag it here now as you can see it brings a small draw part then you can just resize it like this let me just zoom a little bit to 70 so that you can see clearly after you bring the image here again you can use your yeah again you bring in the other image let's say here what do I have Facebook so bring in the other Facebook image here again my the one mask to remove this white part then just click delete then remove mask just click on the mask transform then press delete again you can come on drop shadow then use again small glow just make it small little glow 
and you bring it here again you just have to resize it make sure they're in the same like lined together like this let me just try to to make them so somehow like this wow and next thing again you can bring in if it's your twitter so you can you import twitter image use the same one mask click on the white part then place delete on the keyboard then use the mask transform then again like press delete to remove the mask use the pick tool again you come on drop shadow then you also see small glow like this then pick you bring it face resize it again like this then just bring it to the other end here to the list of there just depending on how you want it to be wow so i will have something like this guys let me just try to position these things a little bit uh, yeah so let me just I'll push it maybe up here you can do this just click on the object that's here then you like maybe position it just to position them so that they can look great after doing this you have something like this as you can see so here you enter your name here you can enter your name of your channel then the other thing you can do now here it's done the reason of this using this image like our layout of our youtube channel is to like to get the size of the youtube so that we can position it safely and nice so now i may just switch off this now we'll have something like this so now what you can do so you have something like this you can just click on the bottom background then click on combine then you can just say combine all objects with the background then you will have something like this and what you can do that's it you have your own youtube professional looking background as you can see just reusing the images the templates from the youtube and um just to make it a little fancy if you want you can like let me just try this let me just du duplicate it after duplicating then I'll like use my erase tool then I'll just use this fading in fading part just trying to make it let me just do this I'll, I'll paint this one you switch off the word topmost use the paint bucket to fill it like with a blah yeah like this then you can like turn on again the topmost layer then now you can when you can use this rest to then just to make it like look oh sorry yeah here you highlight the top part then just make it to look a little more professional like it's fading in like that and here that's what you can do as well so that you make it look nice like this wow and finally we have our youtube channel background well guys thanks for watching that's so hard for you you make yours today and um if you want my template you can just comment down below and don't forget to subscribe guys i will direct you to the link where you can get my template and once more thanks for watching guys and be blessed